All right, today we're gonna to be cooking some mahi mahi on the grill. I'm gonna show you the recipe uh, marinade I use on it, but I'm also uh, gonna show you, uh, we make some tacos with this mahi mahi. If you've never had grilled fish tacos, man, you gotta try this recipe. What we start with, um, I just got these from Kroger. These are mahi mahi fillets. They come right out of the seafood department in the, se in the seafood case. Um, they run probably about $8.99 a pound, something like that. I told them I needed a few fillets. So this uh, process is making a marinade. And uh, we're using some lime juice, a little vegetable oil, and some honey. And we're just going to get this fish marinating. The lime juice will start breaking it down a little bit, but we don't want to leave it in it too long. When you're marinating fish, you're looking at, you know, 45 minutes to an hour tops. So um, here's how we started the marinade together. I'm starting with uh, the juice. It's about a quarter cup of lime juice. I use three fresh limes. And then you want to put in about same amount of uh, vegetable oil. I use a tablespoon of honey and just whisk that in. We just want a little bit of sweetness to cut that acidity some. And then, it, and then I'll use a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper to give it a little bit of bite. And just to balance it all out and brighten it up, just a good pinch of kosher salt. And that's all the marinade is. It's real simple, but it's gonna bring the flavors out in this mahi mahi. And we're gonna we're gonna get it in a bag here. All right, I'm getting the mahi mahi in the bag. Pour the marinade to it. And you just want to get it sealed up and then move it around a little. You don't want to. You know, be too rough with it, but make sure the marinade's getting on all the fillets. And we, and I'm gonna put this back in the refrigerator and it's gonna set for about 45 minutes to an hour. It don't take too long. The lime juice will start cooking that fish, so we don't wanna do that. We just wanna get enough on it to get some flavor in it. And then we're gonna get the grill fired up. And get it cooking. Now I've got the mahi-mahi out of the marinade. I left it in the refrigerator for about 40 minutes. Then I um, took it out, let it sit out for about five and pulled the fillets out of the Ziploc bag it was in. And um, I'm just kind of letting them air dry. What I want to do is season these before they go to the grill. And I made a blackened seasoning. Now this blackened seasoning, it's got some sweet, uh, some sweet paprika, sugar, a little seasoned salt, garlic powder, onion powder, a little cayenne, a few other herbs. Uh, but just to give it up, it, any all-purpose blackened seasoning will work, but um, I'll put this recipe in my newsletter if you want the exact measurements of it. But I just like to give the fish a liberal coating with it because, I mean, this is where you're going to get a ton of flavor once it gets on the grill. My grill's fired up outside. I'm just going to cook these uh, right on the Weber kettle grill. Um, I'm going to use some uh, grill grates and get some good sear marks on them. The thing about fish is it cooks really fast. I mean, you don't want to overcook it. It'll, it'll fall apart on you, it'll get tough. Um, we're looking at, you know, about six total minutes is all these fillets are gonna take. So, it, I mean, three minutes on each side and they're done. One thing I am gonna do when I give them the first flip, I'm gonna whip up a little uh, kind of lime honey glaze for the top of these fillets. And it's just something that's gonna just add a little more flavor to it. A um, little sweetness on the back end, but it'll be bright with the lime juice. And I'll show you how I mix that glaze up in just a second. Let me get these seasoned up. Here's the glaze that I'm going to put on the mahi-mahi once it gets flipped over out there on the grill. But I'm going to start again with two tablespoons of that fresh lime juice. Then I'm going to use one tablespoon of rice wine vinegar. And then just a pinch of salt and black pepper. I'll get this whisking and I'm going to just drizzle in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Now I'm just going to add about a tablespoon of honey to this glaze just to sweeten it up. I'm going to taste it and see if that's good. I'll just touch more on it. That's going to be it. That's right, right there. Oh yeah, that's going to make a good glaze. Now I'm getting my grill grates cleaned up ready to grill some mahi mahi on here i got some good lump charcoal on there it's good and hot i'm gonna let these grapes get warmed up and i'm gonna oil them down these things are handy i wish i had the set that goes on the weber these come off my yoda but hey it works all right i'm out here got my weber kettle set up for some grilling 
got some good hot lump charcoal underneath. You want about a medium hot fire on this. It doesn't have to be like searing steaks or anything. But we want to cook it because Mahi Mahi cooks pretty fast. But the most important thing when you're cooking fish is to always keep this grill uh, surface oiled really well. So what I do is I just take an old uh, towel, get it soaked in some vegetable oil, and just get it all wiped down. That's going to keep the fish from sticking as bad. You're still going to get a little bit, but but this oil and surface will help it. And having it good and hot, that'll, that'll make a difference too. So give your grill plenty of time to warm up. Now that we got it oiled down, I'm just gonna put the fish right on, set a timer. We're looking at about one and a half minutes, then I'm gonna do a little turn, quarter turn, then a, another one and a half minutes, and we'll be ready to flip it, so. Let's get this cooking and get a timer set. All right, it's been about a minute and a half and all I'm doing is coming in underneath, giving this fish just kind of a, just a little quarter twist here. And it's just gonna make some good looking grill marks on it. You'll get a little bit stick, but don't worry about that. That happens. Get under it the best you can. The spatula with this grill grates are nice because they go down in the grooves. Now we're gonna go another minute and a half. Okay, it's been three minutes total cook time on our first side of the mahi. I'm gonna go ahead and come in here and pick it up and let's see what we did. Oh, it's looking beautiful. Be real gentle with it. Get it right on that side. You see it cooks real fast, so we got it rocking and rolling. We're gonna go a minute and a half, put another twist on it. All right, now that I got it flipped over, I'm gonna come back with our lime honey glaze that we got to put on this side right here so we're just going to kind of give it a light little coat so let's just kind of caramelize on giving it this last quarter turn here this would be about the four and a half minute mark five minute mark for keeping up that's all it takes to get this mahi mahi done it's been um, right at the six minute mark this mahi mahi's done so i'm just going to take it right off go to the plate with it we're going to go inside and Make some mahi mahi tacos. The mahi mahi that we did on the grill, it's perfectly fine to eat straight off the grill, serve it with whatever sides you like. Um, the sweetness in that marinade with the honey and the glaze that we put on it and the lime, it really brings out some really good flavors and, and they really blend together good. But what I made it for is because I like to do mahi mahi fish tacos. And that's what I'm gonna show you how, how I do them up. All I did was when that fish come off the grill, I gave it a quick scrub down and re-grease and then I grilled up some of these tortilla shells real fast. And I just take a few pieces. I mean, this is just two of the fillets of Mahi Mahi and put a couple pieces on it. Um, maybe some fresh avocado and then a little bit of this fresh slaw. It hasn't been mixed with anything. It's just a slaw mix. Um, I'll doctor it with just a touch of cilantro and a squeeze of lime. And now comes the good part. These are two things that I made myself. These are pickled red onions. I took a red onion and sliced it and, and just uh, mixed up some uh, cider vinegar, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt and pepper, and pickled these red onions, let them sit in the refrigerator overnight. Man, they make an excellent accompaniment of fish tacos. And the second thing I did was made this sauce. And it's basically mayo and sour cream, but I used some canned chipotle peppers. Uh, I put two of them. You can put more for whatever heat you like. A little salt and pepper. And to give it that really good color, I used a big spoon of the juice that those, uh, uh, the dobo sauce that those uh, peppers are packed in. That all just went in the little food processor until it had the right consistency. But it really makes a good pop for these fish tacos. And man, this is one of my favorite ways to do a fish taco. It is dynamite. So try some mahi mahi next time you're looking for a fish to grill. It's real good. You can usually find, find it frozen or fresh if you're lucky. Give it a try on the grill.